Oh, the Bible is unique. It means different from all others, no like or equal. One area that it is superbly unique is in the area of its surviving manuscripts down through the years. All the hand copy manuscripts that have survived. Let me show you a comparison with others. For example, Caesar and the Gallic Wars. There's only 10 manuscripts that survive. Of Plato, seven manuscripts. Thucydides, eight manuscripts. Herodotus, the Greek historian, eight manuscripts. Of Tacitus, the Roman historian, 20 manuscripts survive. Everything else has been lost. Of Suetonius, eight manuscripts. Now, Sophocles, there's 193. Demosthenes, about 200. Of Lucretius, there's two. Aristotle's Poetics, only 49 manuscripts survive. Do you know what it is for the New Testament? In my book, The New Evidence That Demands a Verdict, I document this. What they are, where they are, and what they contain. We have 24,633 surviving manuscripts. Folks, there is no comparison in all of history of its survival, of its handwritten copies down through the years. You want to see how significant that is? Do you know what the number two book is in all history in manuscript authority? It's the Iliad by Homer. Now think of this, it's number two. Of the New Testament, there's 24,633. The number two book in all history, the Iliad by Homer, there's 643 manuscripts. There is absolutely no comparison. But do you know what? You can burn every manuscript in the world, destroy them all. I have every single Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, whatever. And within about 100 to 150 years of the time of Christ, from the 2nd and 3rd century church fathers, you can reconstruct all but 11 verses of the entire New Testament just from the writings of the early church fathers, Say, how could you do that? Because when they wrote letters to the churches, they copied the scriptures. When they would do sermons, they'd write scriptures out in their notes and have over 36,000 quotations of just the scriptures, the New Testament. And some quotation might be two or three chapters. And taking those works, you can reconstruct all but 11 verses of the entire New Testament. Oh, the Bible is unique in its uniqueness of the survival of the number of manuscripts down through the years. Now that doesn't mean it's true, but I think it does mean anyone seeking the truth would certainly consider a book that has this qualification.